Hello and welcome to another Rise of Kingdoms video. This is Dragothian here and today we're going to be talking about the Bankrupt the Boutique event. And I think this is one of the ones that doesn't really come over, come around that often. It's usually once a quarter, if that. Um, very rare does this come around. But this needs to be treated like more than gems. And it's really kind of a <clears throat> less expensive more than gems. Not so much because you're going to get any kind of sculptures or anything like that. But the value that you get for your gems is unmatched. I mean, this is an event that you can start getting everything 90% off if you do it right, and if you're lucky enough to get things that are 70, 80% off already. I wanna show you how to do it properly just so that you can maximize your gem usage, and I wanna show you why this is a big deal because on face value, it, it's just a nice little perk, but if you maximize the way to use the shop, in conjunction with right now as well, the fireworks event where you get things, you get fireworks for purchasing things from the courier shop. This is a time where you can maximize the courier shop to your advantage, not only from a gem perspective, but also getting those fireworks. And those can lead to, if you have done a really good job on trying to maximize your firework intake, gold sculptures. So let's get into it. This is the Bankrupt the Boutique. It's quickly just an, adding an extra 10% discount, immediately applying to another random piece in the line that you're using. So let's go to the courier shop, and you could have just hit go there as well, but I wanted to show you one thing before I go to the courier shop, uh, and that's the VIP shop, and I want to show you why this is important. And this is going to kind of dictate how, <clears throat> how this is going to actually work. So when you go to the VIP shop, depending on what VIP level you are, and I'm on my alt right now because I've already done it on my main, um, but I wanted to show you how to do it. So if you look at the, the speed ups, for instance, let's, let's take a look at that. Um, if you look at the five minute speed ups, the value is over one gem per minute. So there's five minutes for six gems. So that's like, what, 1.2 gems per minute, roughly? Uh, give or take. Uh, actually, that's exactly right. 1.2 gems per minute. Now, if we jump to the 60 minutes, it's less than one gem per minute. It's 50 gems for 60 minutes. And then again, as it escalates to the eight hour, that actually equates out to, and just because I did the math, I can say this off the top of my head, it's a half a gem per minute. Uh, and again, it escalates even further once you get into the 24 hour. There's also a three hour variant that's probably in the, the 0.75 gem per minute ratio kind of thing 24 hours likely 0.25 or 0.3 something to that effect so that keeping that in mind we're going to take that into the courier shop which is where the bankrupt the boutique event plays at and we're going to kind of use that so right now i've got on the top line and this is per line you got resource line speed ups line boost line and other line and depending on what you're doing with your account is how you're gonna to wanna to play this out. But just to give you an idea, staring at this, uh, I see a 90% tile right there already. You can't go above 90%. There's no 100% option. They're not gonna give you something for free, unfortunately. So that's a great place to start because it can't go any higher anyway. So let's grab that 90%. And as you can see, we added another 10% off to this food, this half a million food tile which used to be i think 40 400 or 450 now it's only 350 so we're going to tap that and then boom over to the right that's exactly what we wanted that gave us the 90 percent we're looking for which you should always buy 90 percent resource tiles guys anytime you see them that's the best value in the game is those 90 percent off ones so you should buy it and then again that got every single one of these tiles discounted down now um, I'm going to buy this because I need gold on my main, and this is a, a farm, quote unquote, although I've started to power it up a little bit so I could use it in arc and defending flags and things like that. But um, for you, you may not want to spend the food to get this amount of gold. For me, I need the gold. I'll spend 120,000 food to get that gold. And at 20%, that's a good value. Now, again, keep in mind, you cannot double up the discount. So it, like say for instance on this next line here, which I'll go through with you as well, you can't add a discount to one of these tiles and then pick another tile and then the discount goes up again. That doesn't it doesn't work that way. It will only go up one time, but you can maximize this based off of and this next line is actually a really good example of how to do that. Uh, you can maximize this on how you get the biggest discount possible. And keeping in mind 
We just talked about the VIP shop. The You get a better value on the higher tier speed up cards. So for instance, on this line, you've got two five minute speed up cards and two 60 minute speed up cards. Because the 60 minute speed up card cost is lower per gem, or the gem count is lower per minute on these cards versus the five minute, the higher that discount is, the better it is for you overall. You're gonna get more value for your gems. So what you wanna do on the speed up line is you want to start on the five minutes and preferably you wanna start on a resource one because that hopefully will snag the discount on the gem one. So obviously we're looking at this line right here. There's only one that's got a resource only and that's the five minute building speed up. You tap that and sure enough, the five minute for the 60% goes up. And again, you wanna go smallest to largest because that's going to increase your likelihood or chance, or in this case, it's gonna be a 100% chance of getting the bigger um, cards, the bigger speed up cards, increasing the discount by another 10%. So we're gonna go ahead and do that. Now we have an 80% discount on a six hours of training speed ups at 145 gems, that's incredible. Same thing with the universals, 10 hours for 480 gems, absolutely buying that. Now on this one, this is where you have to kind of make a decision. If you're short on anti-reconnaissance, if you're short on um, any kind of food boost or wood boost or something like that, you can use this uh, same method to go ahead and maximize the discounts on those things too. I never buy the resource boosts for gems. I always wait for them to be actual resources. Like in this case, you have the gold one, but I'm not short on gold 24 hour boost right now. And then on top of that, there's nothing else in this line that I want. Even if it was at a higher discount, I still wouldn't buy it. So I'm just gonna skip that one and use my gems elsewhere. So here we go, here's another perfect example. Here's a good way to, to hopefully, I normally wouldn't buy an XP book for gems again i usually if they're if they're resources i'll buy them um, same thing with the equipment i've started to rebuy them with gems but for the most part i've avoided it i've just used the uh the production facility inside of the forge and a blacksmith and then also anything that's done with resources inside the courier shop i buy it but with bankrupt the boutique this makes a lot of sense to possibly try and get a discount higher than 50 percent because i've never seen any equipment inside the shop higher than 50%. And if you're gonna be able to get it with this Bankrupt the Boutique event, this is a good time to take advantage of that. So I'm gonna go ahead and buy the two blueprint fragments over here on the right. And sure enough, it gave me 60% instead of 50% on the equipment. Even though this is my alt, I'm gonna show you how to do it. I'm gonna go ahead and grab it. And again, I did get the XP books at 60% too. I'll go ahead and grab those two. I'm not gonna buy the, the star, one star for 360 gems especially with it being purple, not really that great for me. Now, we've done it once. To me, because Bankrupt the Boutique is so good and you can maximize your gems really, really effectively, and you've got the firework event going on right now, why not max this thing out? The amount of gem savings that we got was insane. We probably saved two, three, four hundred gems at least and if you get the really really good ones like a three hour speed up or 10 hours of speed ups like even the 10 hour speed ups right we, we bought the 10 hours of universal speed ups last time for 480 it's selling right here for 600 that's 120 gem savings and again if you do that multiple times that all stacks up same thing with all of the resource nodes here 26 versus 55 big big difference that adds up if you're buying four of them so let's put this back into practice again so we're going to go ahead and buy the stone Go ahead and buy the newly minted 90% food. Again, just to show you, this other one's 90%. I'm going to buy that one just to show you that the food does not go up as well. So it stayed at 20% because it's already been increased. You can't increase it any further. But I went ahead and bought that again because it's resource for resource and it's free resources if you're not short on wood. So same thing here. And again, this account is not maxed, so I need every kind of speed up imaginable. I wanna start with the smallest, which is going to be my five minute building speed up. You tap that, boom, I got a 50, 10% uh, increase on that. So now I'm down to 480. 
Now I've got a 60% increase instead of 50 on these. And then same thing, now I've got a 70% increase on this research one. I'm gonna definitely grab that. Now, again, I don't see two things on this boost line that I absolutely want. And again, I'm not really low on the 24 hour um, uh, wood boost. So I'm not gonna go ahead and do that. We scroll to the bottom, again, here's the same situation. We've got some resources, some green resources. That's effectively eight bone, uh, and it's already at 40%. Uh, and again, with the teleport, if you buy the, the territorial teleports versus the um, alliance teleports, uh, those are 750, uh, 750 gems in the shop. So this is already better than the shop. If I'm, hap if I'm lucky enough to get the discount on either the bone or the teleport, I'm going to grab it. So I'm gonna start with the two fragments again, same thing, sweet, so I got the bone and then the teleport, awesome. And this actually is not bad um, for a special star here, but again, this is my alt account. I, I might have thought about actually buying that uh, on my main had I done it. Now again, especially if this is your main, I actually bought the all the refreshes on the shop because of the value that you get. I'm gonna go ahead and do it one more time here for the video and then also for um, my my alt account because I'm, again, I'm building this thing up. I just got it to City Hall 25. We've got over a million and a half troops on it now. I'm starting to level up the commanders, getting the equipment like you just saw. So I'm starting to get this guy pumped up and ready to go too. But we're gonna do the same thing, same premise. So again, we've already got a 90% off one. Let's start with that one and see where we go with it. Got a 90% off one now here. Now this one's 50% off and now this one's 90% off. So we got maximum discount every single time we do that. Same thing here, there's no resource ones. There's a five minute one, let's start there. Go ahead and tap that, that's 70%. Now we got an 80% off universal 10 hours, that's fantastic. And then now we got another 60% off here, so let's do that. Now here is where you might wanna check. So you got your boosts. 70% is usually the highest that you see on these advanced army expansions. These things are pricey, guys. Even in the VIP shop at discount, it's 2,500. Now, you can get them, and this is the only place I buy them. I don't buy them in the VIP shop because they're that expensive. You can get them here for 1,500 gems and stack them up. But with Bankrupt the Boutique, again, getting this for 80% off would be fantastic. I believe that's an extra 500 gems off. And if you see, the other items, even though you might not necessarily need them, if you buy them, you'll still get a better value. You'll, you'll come out ahead because I would already buy that 70% off army expansion anyway. So 242 is less than, and that's gonna be less anyway because I'm gonna hit the 24 hour gathering um, speed up as well or boost. So this is what we're gonna do. We're gonna do the boost that went up on the stone. Again, I would normally not buy an eight hour stone, but because I'm trying to get the other thing on the right to 80%, I'm gonna do it and there it is, boom. So it cost me, what was that, 42 or 38 gems to save 500 gems. That's what you need to think about when you're buying the bankrupt, the boutique, boom, there it is. I don't need that attack because that's hot garbage. And there we go. I'm not gonna buy anything else on here because there's not really too many items down there that I'm interested in. I do like the teleport. In fact, I probably will buy the teleport. I will not buy the peace shield. I don't need an eight hour peace shield. That's not necessary for me. So that's how you maximize the bankrupt the boutique. Again, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope this was helpful because um, this event does not come around very often. You need to be able to maximize this event to maximize your gem usage because again, gems are at a premium, free to play, pay to win, whatever, it does not matter what type of player you are, unless you're smashing gems nonstop, um, just to train troops, this is going to be helpful for you because this will save you hundreds, if not thousands of gems in the next few days. Hope you enjoyed. See y'all next time. Cheers. Happy New Year and take care.